What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with sort of breaking news. Not that my channel is known for that, but I did receive an email from Collectible Grading Authority slash AFA, Action Figure Authority, and they have some news regarding loose grading for vintage Star Wars figures. We all know that and have been waiting for them to open that back up. They did. They have opened up loose grading again. Uh, as of, I believe, March 1st, really, is when the, the start date is. Uh, but I, I, there's some other interesting information in this announcement, and specifically as it relates to turnaround times and pricing. So we're going to take a look at the pricing now that AFA is in their new facility for mint-on-card vintage figures, loose-graded vintage figures, and modern, uh, modern Star Wars figures, as an example. And then we're going to compare that to what the current pricing is over at uh, Collector Archive Services, CAS. And it's pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Uh, I think that the, there will be, there will have to be some sort of response from CAS based on this. Maybe they don't. But to me, it's, pre it's pretty clear that AFA has a big price advantage right now. So let's, get, let's take a look at the announcement and then I'll share some other thoughts. You spoke, we listened, new prices are here, announcing updated pricing to better serve you. We've streamlined our tiers, making it easier for you to choose. And so now they are accepting submissions for loose figures for Star Wars. So the Star Wars only for loose figures. And now that they've worked through their backlog, let's see how quickly AFA builds up another huge backlog. Uh, and we, we go back to like a year wait time. But at least right now, they, they are taking loose Star Wars figures. And you can see there, there's some examples. All right. So here's the website. New online submissions now open. And when I tried to kind of load in a loose figure, it says... Loose figures not open right now. So uh, I think it starts March 1st. Uh, I think that's the thing. And I wanted to show you how it looks now in terms of the tier. You know, AFA has always had tiers, different tiers uh, for pricing this stuff. And it was very complicated. Well, they simplified it. And I wanted to look at what their vintage grading package, mint on card prices are. Now, when I say vintage, it's really for anything released prior to 2000. So 1999 and earlier is considered vintage now, according to AFA, and you have to pay AF, uh, the vintage grading scale prices. And so they've got three tiers now. It's much easier to kind of decide this. And I'm looking only at standard prices. There obviously are different prices for larger uh, mint on cards, things like that. But for standard, priority, 30-day turnaround, it's $150, okay? Now, CAS right now, at least currently, is running 30 days for standard offers. So they have an advantage in terms of turnaround times for 30-day. Uh, standard, that's priority. Uh, standard is 75-plus days. So they're saying roughly two and a half months or more for a standard vintage Kenner Star Wars action figure, and that price is $70, okay? Now, if you got a case and you want to just get it recased, let's say it's got a scratch or maybe you've got a clear view label up top and you want to get the classic view inside, that's 35 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. $35 for a mint on card, 30 day turnaround for just recasing. That's a really, really good deal there. Uh, but for standard size, they're saying it's two and a half months plus, keep that in mind, plus, and it's 70 bucks. Now, if you go to CAS's website, I want to do a price comparison for all the three things we're looking at. Mint on card vintage, mint on card modern, and then loose graded vintage. So for a standard Mint on, mint on card, it's 80 bucks right now with CAS. Now, the difference is instead of, you know, it's $10 more than what AFA is charging, but the, at least right now, CAS is turning those around in 30 days. Uh, that's, that's the current turnaround time versus waiting two and a half months. So is it worth $10 more to get it in 30 days versus two and a half months? And uh, AFA versus CAS, everyone's got their own determination in terms of what they want to do there. So, uh, so that's, that's, I think CAS is pretty competitive right now, uh, in terms of mint on cards because their current turnaround times are, are less. Uh, but for, that's for standard casing. And uh, there was uh, some other points I wanted to look at. Uh, items with, and this is going back to AFA, items with a listed fair market value of over $5,000 will automatically default 
to the priority tier. Items over $10,000 will be charged 2.5% of the fair market value. So that's another big advantage that CAS, they don't do like more, they don't charge you more for what the, the value is for the carded item. Um, with AFA, if it's $5,000 in value or, you know, or higher, you're going to automatically default to 150 bucks. And if it's over $10,000 in value, you got to pay two and a half percent of the FMV for that. So if it's a $10,000 item, you're looking at $250 to grade that item. So versus AFA, or excuse me, CAS, they charge a flat fee for no matter what the value is, which is a big advantage too. Um, anyway, uh, so I think looking at apples to apples for AFA versus CAS for carded figures, you could argue maybe CAS has a slight advantage there. Um, just because of turnaround times and, uh, and, and, but you know, again, AFA, this is, I'm only going on what's on the website. Some of you may submit a, a carded item to AFA and you get it back in two weeks. I don't know. Uh, but you know, at least what they're saying is for standard orders below $5,000 in market value, they're saying it's two and a half months plus. So where I think AFA has a massive advantage is on loose grading. Okay. So they just opened up loose graded figures and for, a priority 30-day turnaround is 100 bucks, which is a, not a bad deal. Uh, standard, seven, they're saying, again, 75-plus day. They're keeping it very broad here. But assuming it's two and a half to three months for 50 bucks, that's a really good deal. Now, again, AFA's backlog, they've, wor they've been working through it over the last year. They may have a flood of submissions now that they've opened it back up. And that two and a half months turns out to be six and a half months. Who knows? But at least right now, they're saying 75 plus days. Recasing is a good deal as well. They're saying 30 days for recasing, and it's only 25 bucks for a standard case. If you want to add UV to that, it's 20 bucks. Cleaning is $10. And the grading summary, they're, they're opening back up the grading summary for that as well. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't use you know the grading report, a written report showing where the defects are on the figure. That's another $25. Um, so if I've got something that I want to recase, and I do, uh, I have some old case AFAs I'd like to get recased. To get it with the UV archival case, it's $20 more plus the 25 so that's $45 to get it recased, which is almost the cost of what it costs to, to grade it outright, you know, a new item outright. So, um, But anyway, uh, I, I want to show you that information. Uh, the other in interesting point is please note some rare production figures that previously required a CIB statement of archive, you know, a, st a statement of authentication, such as double telescoping saber figures, vinyl cape Jawas, and certain Fortin variants will no longer require CIB authentication, and CIB COAs will not be issued when these figures are graded. So keep all that in mind. Uh, they also said they are not accepting pre-production figures from vintage Star Wars or any other toy lines. Production figures with additional history, such as photo samples or engineering pilots or mailers or other custom items. So they're not taking mailers or baggies. Um, they are not taking pre-production uh, or other kind of photo sample type stuff, anything that requires a lot more time. As of right now, they are taking the rare ones like double telescoping sabers and vinyl cape Jawas, and they're not requiring a CIB statement of authentication, which they used to require. So that was an interesting point as well. I wanted to get out of the way. Now let's take a look at the pricing for loose graded with AFA versus uh, CAS. So for CAS, uh, the turnaround times right now are running about two months, maybe two and a half months all in. But they're charging you $70, $70 for grading. And then if you want to get an, a museum quality, which is kind of the CAS version of archival cases with AFA. Uh, that, that's another seventeen fifty. So seventy dollars versus fifty dollars with AFA, and the turnaround times. At least I'm going again on what's on the website. The turnaround times are about the same, um, and then the UV upgrade is twenty dollars versus eighteen dollars with 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 a uh, collector archive seventeen fifty. So I think. Just this is again, it's just me based on the information that's online. I have no way to verify any kind of turnaround times yet with AFA. And on that note, for those of you that do submit some items to AFA and uh, you know, loose graded figures, especially, 
I would love to hear what the turnaround times are when you get them back. So make sure to comment with those or send an email to actionfiguregreater at gmail.com so I can pass that along to other viewers. But at least right now, the way I view it is CAS is competitive on mint on card vintage items, especially for expensive ones. Uh, but they are not competitive, in my opinion, with AFA on loose grading. AFA has come out of the gate with a very aggressive pricing strategy on the standard orders. And a priority order is $100 versus uh, CAS, where they offer expedited turnaround time of seven days for $200 or 48 hours for $400, which is ridiculous. Those prices are too high. Uh, but I understand why they got to do it. Otherwise, they'd have a massive backlog uh, for like Vinyl Cape Jawas or whatever. So, in my again, in my opinion, I think AFA has got a big advantage on loose grading. And I'll be surprised if CAS does not adjust their pricing downward to be more price competitive. They were the only game in town for loose grading for about the last year, right? And they did a several price hikes, right? They went from like $35 to now $70. So, it's almost doubling their prices during this monopoly they've had, uh, where AFA has not been taking loose grading, at least here in the U.S. Obviously, UKG is still available for you European viewers. But for us in the U.S., we only had CAS for loose grading. Uh, so I think the prices are going to come down at CAS. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they say, we've got enough submissions right now. We don't need to adjust our prices. I think in order to be price competitive, though, they're going to have to be at or below AFA's prices of $50. So we'll see. Uh, modern, uh, let's go ahead and talk about modern. So for modern packaged items, the standard, again, the, the turnaround days are the same. Priority is going to be 90 bucks. Standard 75 plus days is $45. Recasing, again, is $35. Same as, same as for vintage. For any item over $5,000 in value, uh, for modern, uh, it automatically defaults to the priority tier. And then for any modern items over $10,000, I can't think of any modern item that would get $10,000, but who knows? Uh, that's 2.5% of the fair market value. So same concept as with the vintage tiers. So $45 uh, for vintage, or excuse me, for modern versus $70 for vintage. So that's the, the grading comparison, AFA, AFA, vintage versus modern. $70 versus $45. And again, this is a, uh, an area where I think that AFA is going to have a big advantage over CAS. For modern items, CAS is charging $70. $70. So $70 versus $45 with AFA with about, again, assuming the turnaround times of two and a half to three months at AFA, uh, $70 versus $45 at, at, uh, uh, at AFA. So We'll see what CAS does, if anything, but it's it's their move. It's their move. AFA has fired a salvo across the bow, shots fired across the bow of CAS with bringing back loose grading and bringing it back at a lot less than I expected. If you guys remember from some of my videos, I was expecting AFA to come out with loose grading again, but it was going to be very expensive. I was I was thinking like $75 a figure. They did not do that. You know, they have a new factory. They have a new facility now. They put a lot of money into more equipment, more employees, and you know, obviously the building itself and whatever that costs to build it out. So they do have some capital expenditures on the books that they've got to recoup quickly. So maybe that's what they're doing now. Maybe they come out of the gate lower at $50 for this loose grading. And then once they've kind of built up a huge backlog, I, I would imagine that number will get closer to $70. So Maybe uh, CAS does not adjust their prices whatsoever. We'll see. Um, but I, I would I would guess personally, again, I, I was wrong already. All right. So take that for what you will. I was wrong on their pricing. Um, but I expect AFA's backlog. I bet, I bet they'll get flooded with new submissions for loose grading. And that $50 will go to $75 pretty quick. So I think if you've got, if you're sitting on 50 or 100, you know, whatever, five, figures that you have want that you have been wanting to get loose graded with AFA send them in now uh, on March 1st because uh I, I expect that pricing to go up and I expect there to be a flood of submissions um so that backlog could could build up pretty quick anyway if you like this video please leave a like I hope you enjoyed this kind of breaking news from C uh CGA slash AFA and this kind of price comparison for the different uh the, the different kind of packaged goods Vintage mint on card, modern mint on card, and then 
loose grading for vintage between AFA and CAS as it stands right now. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back soon.